What is up, Matthew Moy here for the Friday First Reaction for March 30th. We got plenty, plenty of delicious songs today. So let's get started with I Like It Aloud by John Christian, Tiesto, Marshall Masters, and The Ultimate MC. Reminds me a lot of a GTA track or two. That was a nice blend of modern big house and electro house from somewhere between like 2014, 2015. Reminded me a bit of a sort of a GTA track, something you would play, you know, in a very aggressive loud pit at a festival. So pretty big fan of this track. Shout out to John Christian for doing production on the song too. Doesn't get a lot of credit, but he's a very good producer. Next up is Bloodlust by Eptic. Out of a lot of the producers that are making dubstep right now, as far as bass design and then sound selection, I personally like Eptic the most. All of the samples he uses, very aggressive, and then also he has his own style where it's almost like a dungeon-y fantasy world that he's kind of painting with his samples. Huge Elder Scrolls fan, huge RuneScape fan, so this is right in my element. Big fan of the song. Next up is Keep On by Richard Gray, Mike Ursa, and Eddie Pei. Very, very disco -y. Interesting disco house track. I'm not sure if I'm super in love with the vocal. It sounds like a sample, but I couldn't quite tell. It's very peppy. I might be playing this more. I don't know how exactly I feel about it at the moment. Next up is Pika Pika by Stevie Oki and Loopers. <laughs> Oh my god, this is like the fourth bad song you've made in a row. I speak my shit like Pika Pika? What does that mean? Tell, tell me, tell me how that's a sentence. Loopers can make way better music. Steve, you can make better music. This is objectively bad. Like, stop trying to sell shoes and make music for like two seconds. I, I, I keep reacting to your music and it keeps being bad, so maybe I'm just bad luck. I don't know. Next up is Do It Till Your Face Hurts by Data Life. This sounds more like a Data Life by now. Definitely keeping that data life energy that I come to expect from them. Unapologetically energetic and happy. I thought the hook was pretty creative and pretty catchy. However, the drop itself, while it was a nice fat data life sound, wasn't the most catchy. Didn't really hold my attention too much. Pretty simple. Probably won't be listening to this track in the future. Definitely not one of my favorites. Next up is Bounce by Slushy. <laughs> Honestly, the interludes and the builds were more interesting than the drop themselves. Remind me a lot of 2011 Skrillex era, which isn't necessarily bad, but something that I've definitely heard before many times. So I think if you're familiar with that sort of dubstep era, then you'll really like this track. Next up is No More by Slushy. <laughs> I 
I can use of some sort of vocal format filter on those basses because those basses were super crispy. There were lasers in there too that were doing their thing. Usually I like his more melodic end, but he executed on the aggressive font really well here. A lot of interesting sounds, flowed really nicely. Big fan of this song. Next up is Rain by Artie. <laughs> Artie has just about completely mastered that progressive house sound. So on a production level, cash money. I don't think this is necessarily the song for people to get put onto progressive house. However, if you're already a fan of super saws, four on the floor kind of music, this is in your lane for sure. Next up is Lights by Dabin and Trove. <laughs> Run that back, run that back. What the hell? Listen to this again. This song really carves its own. The snares, the synths, everything's produced beautiful. Trove's got a nice hook on it. And that second drop fucked me up, not gonna lie. This song's really, really good. Next up is Ching Ching by Wolfgang Gardner. <laughs> This song was a great intersection of Wolfgunner of old, Wolfgunner of new. And then on top of that, usually I'm not a huge fan of his vocal choices. Some of them sound a little cheesy, but this one flowed really well. Really happy with this track, actually. Next up is Ricky San's remix of PCP by Crane. Okay. Another crazy Ricky San song, if you're familiar with his music. A lot of metallic -y, crazy basses. I did like how these sort of drops flowed really well with the vocal from this song. Pretty solid, new trap sound. I'll give this song a thumbs up just because it was executed pretty well. Ooh, we got Billboard. We got Billboard's remix of Away From You by Crane. <laughs> As you saw right there, Billboard just has the nicest synths, super pristine production, with a little bit of a French touch as well. As far as a interlude being remixed, I've never heard of a better one. So this song was super dope. Show it to Billboard, make more music. Next up is LSD by Gasly.
completely understand what Gus was going for on this track. However, I have a couple issues with this song. First of all, I thought the lead was a little too annoying. That must be my thing, but it just sounded kind of harsh in the high end. I didn't understand necessarily why the fill before the drop had to be the whole volume goes up and down thing. And then the drum switch up in the second drop is also a little too wonky. Well, I like the idea. I'm gonna appreciate Gas is going for this kind of music. Uh, the execution, definitely not my favorite. Next up, The House of House by Dimitri Vegas, like Mike Vinovici. <laughs> do very well in Europe. I'm not sure if this is necessarily the side trance song that's gonna cross over really well to the US. Sounds a little bit dated, I think purposely, however, in this track, especially the second drop had some analog acid synths in there, so definitely not my cup of tea. Sort of just engineered for a festival setting, not something too listenable for me personally, however, not necessarily a bad track either. Next up is Down For Everything by Sam Felt. This is a very watered down sound felt sound to be honest. The drop actually felt more anticlimactic than the builds themselves. Would have probably just preferred to the song just to be a pop song rather than a dance pop. Next up is Grand Jour by Tony Romero. <laughs> Very groovy house track. Tin Romero is really shaping up to be one of my favorite French artists, and that's a pretty tall order considering how competitive the French scene is. Always having something unique and interesting in each of his songs, and always executing with whatever subgenre he chooses. Next up is Candy by Tony Romero. Give me some candy now. That song really fit the confession label mold that the song was released on. Really left of center, underground house song. Maybe too wonky for me to listen to day to day, but really fun, pretty goofy. I don't like it as much as Grand Jour, however, not a bad song either. Next up is You Make Me by Disco Fries. <laughs> I'd prefer if we left that sound behind in 2017. Tempo, key, and the drop with that vocal lead. Overdone, Disco Fries. I don't know why you're not just making house music. It was really good. Next up is Machika, Dylan Francis remix. Machika. The cool thing about this song is, while it is a remix, it doesn't sound or feel like a remix. All the transitions between each part of the song were really clean. A seamless Moombatone song. If you're a fan of Moombatone or you're a fan of Dylan Francis, you'll definitely like the song. Next up is started by Afrojack and D.O.D. <laughs> So the thing about that song, clearly it's featuring DoD's Future Jack signature sounds. However, that lead bass line was just messy for no reason. I'm not sure who was in the studio making that, thinking that that was super cool. Really weird. Interested to see how that plays live because I don't see that really hitting that well. Definitely gonna skip that one. Next up is Movie by Abstract and Josh Pan. <laughs>
But Josh Pan's vocals were a little quiet, and I don't think it was the best vocal performance. I just don't think at the end of the day that this is the big Hapstrack song that I was looking for to start this year off. I'm gonna keep looking out for more Hapstrack songs, however, I don't think this is the one. Next up is Reske's remix of High Ground by Odeza. This vocals are so good. I don't think you could fuck it up, to be honest. Well, I don't think this remix is necessarily better than the original. It's pretty hard to beat High Ground by Odeza. Very interesting interpretation of the song, and I think it does overall the vocal justice. So, thumbs up to Ruska. It's my first time hearing you. It's pretty good. Last song is Rave Rage by Ray Volt. Cool, aggressive dubstep track by Ray Volp. Was a big fan of that lead, however, I wish he switched it up a little bit more throughout the whole format song. Not a bad dubstep track at all. All right, those are all the songs. So now it's time for top five favorite tracks of the week. In no particular order, number one, Lights by Dabin and Troy. Amazing down-tempo song, honestly. You really just gotta listen to it and be at awe by how beautiful that song is. Next is Bloodlust by Eptic. Probably the most impressively produced dubstep song of this week. Bunch of change-ups, really interesting fills and builds, so shout out to Eptic. This is another one you can add to his catalog of just dope, dope tracks. Number three, I'm gonna have to go with No More by Slushy. As far as interesting sounds in a dubstep song, the bass in the song is uber aggressive, super delicious, and fat sounding. Really, really dope. Number four is I Like It Aloud by Tiesto and John Christian. Just an overall cool fusion of Big House and Electro House. Very modern sounding and really well executed. Number five is Bill Boy's remix of Away From You by Crane. Really nice piece of synth work here. And really took just a simple interlude into a full on journey, which I think is a really cool idea. As far as worst songs of the week, I think a lot of songs this week were pretty lukewarm and not really amazing or really terrible, but but there were four songs that were noticeably poopy to me. First of all, Pika Pika by Stevie Yoki and Loopers. I'm gonna go on record and say that's the worst song I've heard of 2018, especially out of all the songs we heard on the show. This song is just ridiculous. Next is Down For Anything by San Felt. Really just a boring track and nothing really notable at all to say about it. Next is You Make Me by Disco Fries. Really just chasing a very trendy production sound that's not even trending anymore. <laughs> it's honestly pretty outdated. Maybe if this was released last summer, it would have been cool. And then lastly, started by DJ Afrojack and DOD. Probably the worst DOD song I've heard so far. So that was really disappointing to hear, especially a collaboration with Afrojack. Thought it'd be a bit better. So with that being said, what was your favorite release of the week? Did I miss any tracks? Comment below if I did. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. This has been Friday First Reaction from March 30th. I'll see you guys next time.